Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a power-up webinar entitled Apps and Plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. By the way, we have a new subscription membership service. All of our online video training, tutorials, and webinars are now available via subscription. This includes all of our Final Cut Pro 10 training and our Adobe training. For one low monthly fee, you get streaming access anywhere, anytime via the Internet. Plus, subscribers can attend any live webinar for free. This is a fast and low-cost way to access all of our online training. To learn more, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Let's take a look now at three tools. The first one's by Yanobox. It's a $49 utility from Yanobox.com. It's a plugin that offers easily accessible color grading tools. It has an on-screen interface. Rendering is GPU accelerated. It's got built-in split-screen comparisons between what you're doing and what it was. This is really simple, really cool, works great, and there's a couple of advantages to using Yanobox versus the color correction tool built in to Final Cut. Let me show you. Here's our house in the wilderness. Let's go find Yanobox. There's a number of presets here that are a light color correction, this makes it blue, goes from a light blue through a, oops, go back to here, a light blue through a heavy blue or a light brown through heavy brown or dark blues. And all you have to do is just click on the preset. And as we've already seen, uh, it's easy to, to see and make changes. But the strength of this for me is in the color corrector itself. I'm going to grab their Moods plug-in, drop it on top of the clip, select the clip, and notice that there's now these six wheels that allow me to make changes, plus one more, which is stuck way up here. Let me illustrate what those do. Make this as big as I can, show the inspector. I'm going to turn on the help card. What this allows us to do is to control, if I drag this left to right, it controls the brightness of the image. If I drag it up, it desaturates. If I drag it down, it goes to a silver look holds color but it's a desaturated color. If I drag the second button left to right that's exposure. If I drag it up and down gamma setting, gamma's mid-tone gray. I could do color correction in the shadows, the darker shades, color correction in the mid-tones, the medium gray shades, color correction in the highlights, the higher lighter shades. And we've got a wash in the black, which allows us to say, take all the shadows and make them blue or green. Again, with any plugin, you click this hooked arrow to reset it, and it goes back to where it started off. One of the other things that I like is that if I grab this setting and drag it sideways, I have more control, so I don't have to keep it. If I need to do a rotation, drag this way out, so you've got enough control to, to get the precision that you want. The other thing is you always want to do color correction when you're working with your own controls using scopes. To open up scopes, go to Video, Show, or Hide Video Scopes, in this case, Show Video Scopes, Keyboard Shortcut is Command-7. Command 7, and because I'm making grayscale adjustments, I want to see the waveform monitor. And then, so let's just make an adjustment here, see how we can change that. And we'll just pull this down, and we'll move this over. Uh, we're doing incredible damage to this picture. All right, how can I compare what I've done to what was there before? That's where this split screen comes in. You drag that handle all the way over here on the left side, drag it over. The untouched original is here, and the color corrected changes are here, so it's easy for you to be able to see exactly what the changes are that you made to that particular image. Nice thing is it's easy to use. It's all on screen. It's got some presets, but it's really designed to help you, in conjunction with the scopes, get the look that you want. A simpler interface than what we've got inside Final Cut. And we've got lots of different controls, so there's plenty of stuff you can tweak. But the real benefit is the on-screen adjustments. For the complete version of this webinar, visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store. On the left-hand side, click Power Up Webinars and look for webinar number 65. And thanks.